What's up, Commander's Timebot here. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous and my Starter's Guide for 2025. We are going to be taking a look, continuing our look at third-party tools. Now, today we are actually taking a look at something pretty comprehensive. This is ED Copilot. Now, you can see that it looks pretty much like it is part of the game. That is because the man that makes it, Commander Zagfrag, has done a absolutely fantastic job with it. You can see his... As frags, um, portrait right there. So, any copilot is pretty much what it says on the box, but it is a lot more. This can be a very, very useful tool, especially if you play in VR, or you can actually expand this to a tablet. I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of that functionality first. So, if you choose to extend the game to a tablet, you can actually have these buttons right here on your tablet for your convenient tapping. You can have them for flight. For combat, for your SRV, for on foot, and for your camera. I am notice that there are quite a lot of them here. Nice big buttons for you to tap on while you are using them on a tablet. But that is not all that this piece of software can do. So we're going to take a little while here. Uh, we're going to talk about one more tool in this video, but there's a lot to ED Copilot. There's a lot more than it seems in the service, so I'm just going to kind of run you guys through all the stuff that it can do for you real quick. So, it can access your bookmark groups, obviously. Uh, it can make bookmarks for you. And note that this can all be uh, this can all be controlled. It's compatible with uh, HCS voice packs, which is something we will be getting into. You can see places of interest. Now, let's say that we wanted to, I don't know, go see Black Holes. If I click on Black Holes, boom. I'm getting a little hungry. Who's up for some freeze-dried rations? You can see where they are. Course plotting is currently disabled as there are issues with your key binds. Refer to earlier warnings in the voice log. Now it doesn't like some of my key binds. Course plotting is currently there. disabled as there are so, issues with your key binds. Refer to earlier warnings in the voice log. Once you have your binds set properly, uh, to go where you want to, and I imagine that's because I do have a lot of binds set for HCS. You can search for locations, so we could look for interstellar factors, we could look for an encoded materials trader, and it'll search for us. It may take you a hot minute. And here we go. We'll see where the closest ones are. If this looks a lot like a Nara. Displaying a list. Uh, that is you can give order accident. set course to plot a route to the first in list, which should be the fastest to get to. We can also look for mining hotspots and markets. And this menu, you can sort by the ring icon to find the hotspots. There we go. Displaying the closest spot. bauxite hotspots, Commander. Or we can look for the best place to sell. Let's look at bauxite again. Click on the station. And there we go. The highest paying system to sell bauxite is Lung, which is 202 light years from you. Head to McAllister's Folly, nice a planetary this, port that is 91 light seconds okay, from the star. The Last price the given was around 36,000 credits, with a demand quantity of 34,516 tons we can two hours ago. Planetary landing there. required. So, this is an extremely handy tip, or uh, screen, rather. And you can do this with all kinds of things. Local repair, black market, guardian stuff, human stuff, shipyards, manufactured, encoded, traders, all of the things. Guidance computer will tab me right back into the game. All right, let's look at um, that a little bit more, because guidance computer actually, if you've ever tried to do anything on the surface, it is fantastic. You click target coordinates on a surface, and then once they populate, you can just follow them to where you want to go, which is fantastic, because if you've ever tried to land at a specific spot manually on a planet, and it can be a real... Real pain in the butt. Here we have our activities tab. This will give us voice logs, event logs, system history, session progress. Now, I've just been sat on a landing pad, so there's not a whole lot of session history here. We can see what missions we have. We can see what trade routes we might potentially be running. We can estimate um, various discovery payouts. Now, uh, this is pretty accurate. I've tested it with my other account, which is currently out exploring and has several billion dollars worth of discovery on board, and it's pretty accurate by my own estimation. Go check our mining stats. 
which again we haven't been mining, but this will give us all the information we need for that particular session. Here we can see information about our system. We can see faction data. We can see stations. This is a colonization system, so the only thing here is the system colonization ship. See the planetary bodies. There we go. How far they are, what they are. Biologicals. There are none here. You can see faction systems. We can see mining. These are, again, this is very similar to the menu I clicked into earlier. We There's have not, not yet retrieved and displayed here. a station fact, Commander. So, nothing in this menu yet. We can see blueprints now. This is probably one of the best things here is because this lets you see exactly what you need for your blueprints without having to tab out of the game and into another. This in its own makes ED Copilot incredibly useful if you're trying to engineer a ship. You get information about whatever body you're orbiting. Your inventory, you can see your fleet, you can see your stored modules, what materials you have on hand. Obviously, this being an alt account, there's not a whole lot here. Almost nothing for ship's conceivables. No suit loadouts. I don't even think this commander has suits. And weapons. And here we are back in the management system. This will give you a couple other options. So you can see the about for the uh, program. Messages that you can send. You can see your permits. You can see different announcements that you can have set up. So for mining, you can... You know, Announce all items, mute all items, or have it announce certain items, just so you can get the information that you want no to No music get. player has been enabled. Commander. If you want to have a music player to have some sweet music while you're flying. And we haven't even gotten into the actual settings. Now, guys, when you go to set up this program, take your time. There are all kinds of options that you can use to customize this. Your ship AI personality, its voices. You may have heard some chatter in the background that sounded a little different that is ship chatter space chatter that is part of the game or the uh, add-on here ed copilot so you can change all that this is a highly 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 customizable piece of software and it is incredibly useful for uh, commanders that might be wanting something a little more immersive for a tablet or maybe you're in vr this is kind of an all-in-one solution so I highly recommend giving it a try if you want something to supplement the way that you play Elite and don't want to tab out to websites all the time and would prefer instead to have that all maybe in just a more compact, thematically similar version to the game. Definitely give ED Copilot a look. And that's going to do it for me today, guys. We'll be back with a look at some other third-party tools in another video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Consider becoming a channel a member. And if you're here to the end, watch Thomas K on YouTube. So thank you very much. My name is Nybot. I'll see you guys next time.